there's so many players, you know, that, you know, myself and the staff are really looking forward to working with and getting to know them because they're going to be part of an unbelievable campaign and an unbelievable journey that, you know, hopefully we can uh, achieve success. And what is success, as I keep saying, it's, you know, players being promoted to the senior team or, you know, qualify for the European finals. Yeah, so we prepared a lot of individual clips of the potential Wales players that they're going to face. Each player then would have received them clips prior to coming into camp. Then obviously they get together in their units. They would go through the, the clips on, on the video plus also on the tactics board. Uh, there's great interaction between the group. Um, it gets them talking about different strengths and weaknesses of the opposition and then obviously then they will pull whatever clips they feel is relative um, and then later on they will prepare them clips and relay them back to the group so we try to knit the units together. And we feel from the last campaign that this is a real uh, a change for us and we feel that the players are more engaged and um, they have a real understanding and it will help us through our qualifying campaign. Yeah. So how are you going to get that organised? Just have something in front. Exactly. So the left and the right, that'll get across it in early. They'll try to beat you 1v1. Jim's asked us to split into units, um, looking to the, the players we're playing against, uh, get a better understanding of them. Uh, so we go into the game with clear heads, knowing exactly what our roles are. We looked at the strengths and weaknesses, um, left foot, right foot, just things that help us during the game to to sort of nullify their strengths and try and get the best advantage we can. But if well, what would you say to our opposite wide man? Where would you where would you maybe like him to be? Yeah, uh, not wide, so we can stay in between, so we can see, see the centre half and the fullback. Position. So what do you do? Do you get in a position for a cutback and be exposed for a shot when you defend the goal? So it's it's, it's your decision making is going to be key to this. Yeah. If you're in the wrong position, that's what we start making mistakes. Yeah. Decision making becomes poor. Obviously, our execution is, is not on point. So we're in a good position. It becomes a hell of a lot easier. And yeah.
it works on the side and it's not working. Yeah. Okay, she mine too? Yeah. Oh, perfect. Debut in the last campaign for Paul, Paul Borges' side, and he was uh, in their 1 0 win against Belgium. It's Niall Huggins looking to attack in the edge of the box. Huggins, he's got the footwork, he's found the pace, and Adams, and it's 1 0 Wales! Great play there by Niall Huggins, linking up to Joe Adams, made no mistake with the first time finish. And we're uh, 11 minutes in, and it's Cymru 1, Republic of Ireland 0. Their passes in particular, and, and I suppose it is the modern centre half now, isn't it? You want a football in centre half, whereas in the past it would be a, a bit of a long ball, physical. And uh, it's, it's number eight here, Connor Noss on the right hand side, gets it through Pearson. It's a chance for Noss to drive forward. Noss gets it in, and it's a goal for Ireland, and they equalise through Jonathan Affolabi. Similar style to how uh, Wales took the lead in the first half. He's down the right hand side. He was. Uh, Feistier as such, but um, you know, and let's, interesting to see if both teams play to go to win. And that's the thing. Now let's see how Paul Board inside reacts to this. As uh, Morgan Boy is looking for some options up top, and that can only be described as unusual. As a pass back from Morgan Boy, a bit of miscommunication in the back there, and all of a sudden the Irish are two one up. And it's full time at Colliers Park, and a very unlucky result for Wales, but well deserved for the Irish as well. I mean, both teams are very even throughout his uh, end to end match chance. We're just delighted, and what the victory does is it builds confidence, it builds um, morale for sure. So, um, you know, the, the lads in there, they're extremely happy with the performance, and so they should be, they should be proud. We really had two or three sessions to get to know each other really and you know, the time we have in the hotel but I think, it, I think it's very important to get our first win and um, yeah, so hopefully we can push on that. Yeah, I'm just here to get goals for Ireland as many as I can and uh, it'll be great to see how many we can get at the end of the campaign. You want to win every game. Obviously it was only friendly today but that doesn't, that doesn't mean anything to us. Any time you pull on, pull on the Irish jersey you want to win. So for us to get the win today it puts us in good, uh, good stead for the rest of the campaign. Boys can stick their chest out. It was a, it was a meaning performance and showed a hell of a lot of character. Congrats on the win, Jim. Thanks, Samir. Thank you.